Victor Frankenstein. Now I'm sure you know the story of Victor Frankenstein, but you haven't seen it told like this before. And sometimes the monster is the man. What do I mean by that? Well, stay tuned. And my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Now, this new version of Victor Frankenstein is being directed by Paul McGugan. He did the 2009 movie Push that was an action adventure thriller, and I liked that movie a lot. It was pretty good. It was right in my wheelhouse. Too bad it didn't get a lot of attention. Now, the writer behind this was Max Landis. He wrote Chronicle, which I loved, and he also did American Ultra that came out a little earlier this year, which was just okay. But he wrote the hell out of this movie. And guys, I am not going to lie to you. My expectations were low. I really didn't care about seeing this film, and that's probably why I liked it so much. And I'm not going to just say I liked it so much. I love this film. It shocked the hell out of me. It blew me away. I am not going to miss my words. This is one of the best, most entertaining films I have seen all year. I don't mind saying that the movie is that good. You need to go see it. Yes, yes, yes. The best thing about this movie is the story and the performances. I mean, James McAvoy is such a fantastic actor. He first got on the scene with me with that assassin movie that came out a number of years ago, Wanted, and he was kind of all over the place in a good way in that movie. And then he playing the humble Professor X in the X-Men franchise that is a completely different role from that. And now he's playing a completely different role in Victor Frankenstein. And honestly, it is one of the best performances all year. I mean, he sucked this role up and had so much passion in it. I mean, he's spitting and spewing everywhere and I respected his character to the utmost degree. And not only him, Daniel Radcliffe also did a phenomenal job in the role of Igor. And it's not Igor as you know it. It is Igor but a different type of Igor, and I love the way they did it. It was very creative, it was very beautiful, and it was inspiring. It kind of just makes you not want to give up on humanity and just go and help out your friendly neighbor on the street because the movie had a lot of themes like that, and I love every moment of it. Another thing that was interesting about the story was the science. This movie makes me want to go read a chemistry and biology book and get a PhD in both of them. The way they told it, they didn't tell you, they showed you. They had a really creative way with pencil drawings of anatomy tied in with the live action on the screen where there was organs and bones and tissues and it was just very creative and I liked it and it got you into the picture and just made you want to learn how the body works and that the story that they're trying to tell. All the characters in this movie were likable. All of them. Even the good ones and the bad ones. Everybody had a reason and rhyme for the what made them tick and what made them beat. This beautiful woman right here by the name of Jessica Brown Finley, played by Lorelai, she was beautiful in the film. She was a strong woman, had a strong presence. She held her own. She was very, very classy, type that you want to take home to mom. And this other guy, Andrew Scott, played Inspector Turpin. He was great as well. I liked him. He had a nice standoff of dialogue with James McAvoy, Victor Frankenstein, and that was probably one of the best pieces of dialogue in the whole film. I mean, they're just face to face, neck and neck, going back and forth, and I love that. The whole film had great dialogue, it had great actors, it had great story, it had great everything. It had great science, it had great pacing, it had great everything. I'm just really surprised on how good it was. I mean, I was smiling ear to ear all throughout this thing. I mean, there's not a dull moment. And when they're trying to create monsters, they do a really good job with that. And these, these monsters are grotesque. And that's what the film is supposed to do is make you look at it and just go, oh, I mean, not only do you not want to touch them, you don't even want to look at them. I'm not trying to over exaggerate on one or two occasions. I was just like, oh, gosh, get that off the screen. I, I don't I don't want to look at that. That looks nasty and repulsive. And blah, blah. Get it out of there. And that's what the film is supposed to do. I even got a nice bit of action. I didn't know how this was going to end. I gave you some nice, entertaining, realistic action at the end. It ended the way it should have. It was perfect. Don't sleep on it, guys. It is worth your money. It is worth your time. It is worth your attention. I recommend it. Real talk. When it comes out on Blu-ray, I will be blinding on Blu-ray. I will be looking at all the special features. I will be listening to the commentary because I want to know all the ins and outs of how they made this picture because they just did a great job. If I had to rate this film out of 1 out of 10 easily, this gets a 9.5 out of 10. Yes, a 9.5 out of 10. But hey, Guys, that's just my opinion. Just because I like or dislike something doesn't mean that you have to like or dislike something and vice versa. So, is Victor Frankenstein on your list? 
Do you want to see it? Have you seen it already? Did I turn you off? Did I turn you on? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave a comment below and let me know why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can become one of my subscribers and get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. If you would like a written review of this, it's already on the site. So you can head over to the site and that's www.justmyopinion.net. And if you're on Facebook, you can find the official Facebook page at facebook.com slash just my opinion. And if you're into social media, which I'm sure you are, you can find me at Instagram and Twitter at just my opinion 84. So guys, thank you for tuning in for my opinion slash review on the new Victor Frankenstein. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Head over to the site. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and all that good stuff. And also, share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video. But again, guys, thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Peace.